Hi everyone, my name is April and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. And today I have 200 pound bulk thread up mixed women's rescue boxes to unbox with you, but I'm only unboxing one of those boxes. I am a full-time ELA teacher. I've actually just got home from work and these boxes were on the porch and I haven't made a video in so long. Sorry, the dogs are going nuts because I just let them out of their kennel. Um, I wanted to make a video of this unboxing. Now, I know a bunch of people recently got these boxes because they were on sale over Labor, Labor Day. I could have bought them, but instead I thought to myself, hmm, maybe they're trying to get rid of old stuff, like old summer stuff. And I said, I'm gonna wait. So I waited and I got free shipping. They are charging shipping now $10, so I saved 10 bucks and I got the four boxes I think it's $432. Hopefully there'll be a receipt in one of these boxes. I can't promise I'm going to be able to make a video of all four just because that's my life. I do have some things on the floor that you can't see. One is a box so that I can sort it for um, research. One is a box to send a consignment. We don't have buy, sell, trade or like any of those places, but we do have one place that consigns. And then a bin for washing clothing, a bin for donate, um, and then a couple bins to keep. Okay, my overall goal usually with these, these are a, a risk you take, is to be able to double my money. So there are some things that I may say that I am not going to keep that I end up fishing out it later because I need to make my money. I like to keep things that I can think I can list for at least $25 and um, hopefully, hopefully that's a lot of things. So hopefully we're not interrupted. This is my basement. It's where I do all the work. Um, yeah, gotta have a, some water, stay hydrated, everybody. Hopefully you're watching this and listening and getting some work done, getting some listing done, taking some photographs. So thanks for joining me. I think I said I'm a full-time ELA teacher. I just moved to grade 10 this year. So let's go ahead and get with it. I'd like to get this done in about 30 minutes. So let's go. So this is a Michael, Lacour, Michael Kors jacket. It's an extra small and it is genuine leather. So I will be keeping it. I'm only going to take a quick look to see if there are flaws. Um, and then there are a couple pen marks on it, but it's nothing big. So there we go. We're going to keep that one. We got a tag. So we got some tags. I've never heard of this. It's called dress. Oh, it's Sarah. Okay. I have heard of it. Um, I think that this might be, I think this might be like a, like a, a thrift store tag though. Um, unless it's the name of a store, I don't know, but it's just some shorts. These look like high waisted side zip shorts. They almost feel like a scuba material. Um, I did, I have sold shorts from Zara like this, so I will try to sell those. List them for 25. Adidas pullover sweatshirt in a size medium. Um, and then it also says 12 to 14. So I'm guessing that this is kids. It's quite pilled. Um, I'm gonna put this in the consign and maybe I can sell it over there. Uh, I might have to depill it though. So I'm actually gonna put it in the pile next to consign. Hopefully I'll remember to depill it. This is a gap skirt. It's a size two. It's got like a great sheen to it, but I'm, I'm not gonna be able to sell that. So that's going in consign. Remembering that the goal is to list for $25. So H&M does not do well for me. This is a small, it's a pretty cool shirt, not gonna lie. Looking quickly for stains. It is pretty cool. Um, but again, I'm not, H&M does not do well for me at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in the consign. Very soft. These are Refuge. I think that that's just sold at like TJ Maxx. They're super soft, velour, but they're small. I'm thinking this is something that's going to go into consign as well. This has got some pretty little uh, sequins. I love sequins. Roberta nylon and acetate dry clean only. I've never heard of this brand. So I'm going to put this in the um, research. Okay, this is interesting. It looks pretty cheaply made. Um, it's pretty little thing, which I'm pretty sure is not a, it's not a great brand. Um, I'm 99% sure it's not. It looks like it's got kind of Buddhist writings on it. It says spiritual or maybe some kind of Sanskrit. I'm not sure what that is. You might know. Um, I'm going to put this in research, but like I said, I'm 99% sure that that, um, doesn't, it doesn't matter. 
So this is Who What Wear, which I think is just from Target. Not to be confused with We Wore What. But it is pretty cute. It's new with tags. It's definitely more summery. Um, not really this time of year. But what I'll do maybe is set it aside in a, in a summer bin and list that when we get you know, into like maybe the spring when people might be going on vacation, but it definitely wouldn't be a priority. This is a brand I've never heard of before, Outer Known. Um, yeah, it looks like just a nylon jacket, like an aviator jacket. It looks like it might be reversible actually, because it's got the pockets on the inside also. Um, there's no size tag, which could be why it is reversible. Why it wasn't kept, I'm gonna put it in the research pile. So we got three things in the research pile. DKNY, new a tag, small, retail for $129. Um, size small isn't a great seller, but this actually looks oversized. Just a straight dress. I hate photographing black. It's literally the bane of my existence. This is an interesting material. I don't even know. It feels stretchy, which is bizarre. Um, nope, just polyester. But I will hold on to this. I don't really do great with DKNY, but we'll see. If I get a lot of great things, I will move that into the consignment pile. But right now, no. <laughs> J. Crew Factory Winnie Pant, size four. I will keep it. It's a houndstooth pattern. These usually sell for like $20, $18, $17. So I will keep that. Scotch and Soda is a pretty expensive brand, but it doesn't always do great on the resale market. Um, I will definitely put this in the keep but I'm going to need to do a little research on it. Uh, it looks small. What does it say? It's an extra small. So hasn't been bad so far. We have a lot of new with tags items, Lulu's, which is really the best when it is in um, maxi dresses. This is just a little faux skirt, faux wrap skirt, like a surplus kind of style. Um, it looks good. I'm going to put it in the keep, but that is one that I may move over to consign depending on what I see. Banana Republic, size zero. Now, if these have the name of the pant, I might keep them, even though they're size zero. Just looking at the material. Um, fall 2017, I'm probably gonna throw these in the consignment pile. We haven't hit any home runs yet, guys. Okay, this is pretty. Okay, this is just White House Black Market which isn't a great seller, but look at the detail on that. That's super pretty. So I think that I am gonna try to sell it just because it's such a beautiful blouse. So it's a size four, list it for 25, hope for 18, 20. Okay, we got a maxi dress. This is definitely summery. It's just a new day, which is Target, but I do okay with a new day, especially in larger sizes. And this is a large, so pretty dress, just plain. I just sold a new day sweater from my last thread up um, bin uh, haul that I had. Haul, not haul. I'm, you know what I mean. Tahari. This is a small blouse. I don't really do well with Tahari. Um, unless it's silk. I'm probably just going to send it to consignment. So let me check here and see. It, does, it feels like polyester. It is polyester. So this is going to go to consignment. Ooh, this is very interesting. Looks like a blazer. Please be J. Crew. Please be. Oh, it's a dress. It's like a tweed. It is J. Crew. So I will definitely be listing this. Let's pull it back so you can see the whole thing. Definitely feels like a tweed style. Um, very classic. It's very heavyweight. And J. Crew tells you when it was. It is partially wool. It's a wool blend. It's 15% wool. So let's see if it tells us when it came out. Oh, this was um, in 2015. So this is a little older, but I will still list it. Definitely will list that. Okay, this is a nice Nike cropped sweater. I don't always keep Nike. This is the black tag Nike, which is better. Um, yeah, I like that. That style is very popular right now. So I'll definitely take a look and see what comps look like for that. I'm pretty sure they'll be okay. All right. I don't know. Chocolate USA. I'm guessing that this is nothing. It feels very cheap. I'll throw it in the research pile. Another jacket. William B. Very nondescript label. Medium. It's kind of got a metallic 
feel to it. It just feels like polyester, maybe nylon. Nope, just polyester. I don't think this is anything, but I'll put it in the research pile. Loft, extra small, little black uh, dress. It's super cute. I might set this aside actually to let my daughter look at it, my stepdaughter. So we have five children. Um, three are my stepchildren, two are my children that I gave birth to, but I love them all. Um, this is a Zara top, I think. This is where the tag is, but this is like seriously not making any sense to me. Like what in the huh? Like, excuse me? So I'm guessing it's like a one arm like this. That is super, oh, off shoulder, must be an off shoulder top. I'm going to look it up because some of the Zara is bloggers favorite. It can sell all right. Um, so I'm going to put it in the keep pile. And if I get to that and it's junk, then, you know, all right, this is cold water Creek. It's a size eight, but it is partially silk and it is velvet and it is a wide leg pant. So I'm not a big cold water Creek fan, but I mean, these would even fit me and they're kind of cute. So I'm going to keep that. I haven't had anything that's like so amazing. This is just Rewind from Kohl's, but it's a super cute dress for spring. Um, it's got a crisscross back. Hold it, get this for you. Oh no, it's not crisscross, it's a tie back. Um, little uh, embroidered sunflowers. I think I'm gonna keep this for the spring. I should have like a spring bin, shouldn't I? I didn't know I was gonna need a spring bin, so excuse me while I pull out those other two dresses and put them in maybe even the Lulu skirt and put them in the separate bin and like maybe those will be the bins I want to wait until spring for. Okay, this is just Forever 21. It's a small, it is very blingy, but it's going to go to consignment. This looks like a pretty young thing. It's very cheap feeling, very cheap feeling, super cheap feeling. What in the hunt is happening? Okay, there's a tag. I don't even. Amazing lace, and it's a small, and it feels super cheap. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a dress. Um, I'm thinking this is probably worthless. I'll put it in the research pile, but I don't have a lot of hope for that. This feels like fake leather. Oh, HT in Paris is an anthropology brand, and it doesn't say if it's fake or not, but it's like a cutout. Oh, no, no, looking at it, it no, I think it's fake. I do think it's fake. Where is the tag? Let's play that game. Where is the tag game? Okay, well, we don't need to play the game together. This is one of those I'll have to look up. Anthropology is so hit or miss. I'll put it in the keep, but it'll be another one that I'm like, mm, these feel like, it, uh, no, nope, they're gap fit. I was gonna say they feel like Lululemon, but they're gap fit, small jogger pants. These will go in the um, consignment. Ooh, sequins. This feels so, so garbagey though. This is Forever Fashions. This is going in consignment. Forever 21, everybody. This is not looking good, y'all. This is an old navy tank top. That will go consignment, but I'm gonna wait and I will pull that out and consign that in the spring. This is DYI, Define Your Inspiration. Never heard of it. I'll put this in the research, but I don't not think get much of it. This is not great guys, we're about halfway through. It's looking gross. All right, BCBG, regulate 268. This is crisscross dress. What's happening? What's happening? Um, pleated, it's very pretty. It's a size extra small. You get a lot of extra small in these boxes. I'm gonna keep that, just retail a lot. I'm guessing it'll at least sell for a little bit. Oh, this is cool. Chicago Bulls. We're moving in on basketball season. Football, basketball, hockey, all those are coming. So I'm going to keep this. Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, all the things. Ivanka Trump, size small. Hey guys, I'm thinking this is going to be in a consign. It's a pretty blouse, but I don't sell Ivanka Trump. Banana Republic, classic fit extra small that's pretty now what i do is i'm going to put this in consign but if i notice i have a bunch of small blouses like that i'll pull them out and i'll lot them together so if you go into my poshmark page you'll see that that's what i do okay this is fanny 
Fanny collection. It looks like an old tag. It's like a paper tag. Show that to you. Never heard of it. It's lined. It's just polyester. Small. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I, I get the feeling that it's not worth a lot. This is not a great box, everybody. Another Forever 21 long sleeve velour consignment. This feels like a skirt. <clears throat> New York and Company, size 10, orange skirt, consignment. I'm only allowed to bring two bins to consignment and you have to like take a number basically. So I am not in until um, November. So this is, says Aqua. I feel like that's a good company, but I can't remember. Am I confusing that with Aquazora? I put it in the research bin. This is Gap Fit Extra Large Tall. <clears throat> it is the ones with the built-in underwear. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. These do sell pretty quickly. I've sold these before for like 10 bucks, but I know they're fast. I know I said I wanted to only keep stuff that was um, 25 or more, but I do know those sell fast. This is an eight, it's cute, but it's N Focus Studio. It's nothing. This feels like another New York and Company. This is a size 16, probably the same person. That's going to go into consign. And probably another one. Yep, one more. Maybe I should put these together, do you think? I don't know, I don't think so. I'm gonna throw them in there and, and let me guess. One more. <laughs> nope, this is a shirt, I thought it was one more. This is Express Small Little Skater Dress. Um, that's also going to go in a consignment. This feels nice. Oh, I've sold this before. I think it's just an Amazon brand but it's like a, um, a pinup girl kind of style. And um, I have sold it before. I know I have, it was a red dress. This is an extra small, but I know I sold that other one, I think for 20 or 25. So I'll hold on to that because this box sucks. So. <laughs> Catwalk Studia. Okay, I'll show you that tag. It's got like faux leather um, inserts in the arms, but it's a knit. And I mean, I don't know. It is acrylic and nylon. I don't think it's anything. It's probably just a boutique brand, but of course I'll look it up. Guys, this has not been great. Okay, let's be good here. Okay, this is Uniqlo, I believe. Yes, this is Uniqlo. It is a small and it is just a blouse. Um, it's a button back, split back. I'm gonna try to sell that. Croft and Barrow, extra large, knit um, cardigan. I'm going to send that to consignment. Oh, Lordy. This is interesting. Wed Trent. This is another one of those like interesting little like pin up girl style button up. Never heard of that before. It feels cheap, guys. I put it in the research pile. Okay, this looks, oh, this is a, a unique low does a lot of collaborations and this is a collaboration with Inez de la Frassange. And it is a midi polka dot dress. Um, it feels just like polyester, but we'll take a look here. I would have to say this is probably a good one. And it's free on. Okay, so we're wrong on that one. When I say we, I mean I, I was wrong. But I'm, I'm gonna keep this because I know this is gonna be good. So I'm just gonna put that in the keep pile. The ones that are research are ones I definitely don't know. So this is loft size eight, but it's brand new. It's retails for 90. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that. This is great for layering. So when I list that, I'll probably put like log and look, layering, stuff like that. Lucky brand, but it's small. That's a hard sell. If this were a large, I'd be all over it. I think I'll probably list it because this box is not great, but I might pull that out if I have an awesome box. I don't really want this to end up being more than $4 an item that I keep. Ooh, baby, I want to get with you and take your picture. Here's a good one, guys. It's mage. It is very stretchy black, which I hate photographing black, but it's a size two. So yeah, we're going to keep that. That's going to be good. Super good. There's one. Super good. Okay. 
Valerie Stevens. This is a, like a velour blazer, velvet blazer. Just looking to see, probably saw something on it, but so we're gonna keep that one. Valerie Stevens isn't really like a great brand, but because of the fact that it's a blazer, it's the fall, um, and it's a neutral color. Who knows? This doesn't even have like this feels so fake, guys. This is just, I'm donating that. It's just garbage. I can tell you straight up, that's awful. Good thing is I haven't seen a lot of stains. Lauren Ralph Lauren, which I do sell and I like selling. This will probably sell for 25. I'll probably list it for around 35. Size eight dress, I love that. We love that, everybody. We love it. Okay. These are Old Navy Active. These are actually great leggings. Um, I don't see a size. Like what in the heckity heck? Um, they look to me like maybe a medium, maybe a small. I'm going to try to send those to consignment. She doesn't normally take stuff without sizes, but maybe I can tell her that those are small. They look like small Chico's, like a tapestry jacket. It's a zero though, which is a small. That's going to be a hard sell, but I'm going to try to sell it. I probably only list that for 25 As you wish, but it's a large, it's a cute little dress. Probably send that to consignment but it's going to be a spring consignment so i'm going to put it in consignment but all right everybody we're getting down there this is another skirt de collection medium it's got like a lace kind of like striped lace or something it is it does feel nice i'll show you that one more time day collection medium like heavy i guess i should say not nice like heavier <sighs> This has been kind of a letdown. Uh, this is a small B Y I N N S B Y Venice. It's a dress. It's like a puff sleeve, layered, tiered. Pretty. It's pretty, but I don't know that brand. So that goes in research. A little bralette. Actually, it feels like pajamas, but it's a bralette. This is just express. There's really like guys. That's going in consignment. I'm sure that'll end up being at the donate. Cupio, which is nothing great. Consignment. Cupio just comes from like I don't I don't know where it comes from actually. <laughs> I think it comes from TJ Maxx. I did not know. It almost looks like Victor. Oh, it's cotton on. It says cotton on body. I I didn't even know cotton on did did. But these are like I'm gonna have to look those up because cotton on isn't a great brand, but. Some stuff does sell. I'll look that up. I don't know. Morona, but it's size 16, which is a Target brand, and it's got like a nice fall pattern. So I think that I'm going to sell that. And I'm going to try to make sure I get to that first. Because, yeah, because that. This is two piece. Let's see. I've seen these at the thrift store, and I never even stop and think about them. Let's see what it says for price. It doesn't say a price. This is a Lisu crab apple. Let's put this here and see if there's a top to it. This is Lulu's. Uh, a little off shoulder, extra small. I will list this because, oh no, I won't. Cause look guys, it's ripped. Donate or garbage. It, I might just throw it in the garbage. I don't like sending stuff that's like that to, uh, this is L, which is not a great brand. Um, I will put this in consign. Almost done, everybody. Oh, this is a brand I've never heard. Queen Yucky. Queen Yucky. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. If I had a guess, I would say that these are nothing. They're probably like an Amazon brand. So I'm just, just I'm consigning them just from the look, the feel. The feel. These are medium champion, but it is one of those like skorts which is super hot right now. So I'm gonna get those that listed. Okay, that's big right now. I normally wouldn't keep that, but because of that, I will. This is pretty, but it's only Old Navy, but isn't that adorable? It's a little dress. I like that. Um, I'm, I don't know what to do with this, because it's adorable. Like, I would wear this in the spring. Well, here in the summer, because we're from Northern New York, so. I think I'm gonna put it in consign. Um, okay, almost done. Another old navy, extra small, another cute, cute one. Adorable. Okay. 
And we got some sparkles. We like sparkles. This like makes me think express. But I don't see a tag. There's a tag. Oh, well guys, when you see this tag, what do you think? Tag with all of this like Asian lettering. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not blown away by it guys. It's probably just junk. I think I'm not even gonna bother sending it to consignment. We don't need it. Okay, this is not a great brand. This is Vogo. It's a small. These are going to donate. I wouldn't even send those a consignment and waste my time with it. This is Rue 21. This is another thing that's going right to donate. I'm not even going to bother sending that. And then a J. Crew extra small. This is very 90s though. Look at that. This is a very popular style right now. Maybe I need to pull that other Express one out and sell those together. I don't know, but I am going to try to sell that. And we have one last thing. This was a terrible box. Wild Fable, which is a brand from T Target. Small, but guys, look at this. This is a velour jumpsuit. So yeah, I'm going to try selling that. Oh, we have one last thing. It's all on the floor, everybody. Okay. This is, oh, it's another Express little tank. So I'm going to pull that other tank out. Um, this is like a popular, like this camisole, like the sexy under camisole right now. So I'm going to pull that out and I'll try putting those two together. All right, that's it. That's the first box. Nothing too great except for that one maize dress. Um, this box in itself is about $100. Hopefully that may, I mean, I just sold a maize dress for like 125 new with tags. So I'm going to guess that maize dress may be around 70. Um, so this is, you know, did I make my money back? Will I? Yes, absolutely. Was this great? No, will I make money off it? Yes, um, but it is definitely wasn't my favorite uh, favorite box that I've ever had. So that's it, box one. Thanks everybody.